Hi, this is Isha. You're watching a video with JustTutors.com. In today's video, we'll be learning about estimation. In this lesson, we'll cover rounding of numbers to nearest thousands and then to estimate sum or difference. Let's begin our lesson with some warm-up questions. You can pause the video here to try these questions. In the first one, we need to find is 41 nearer to 40 or is it nearer to 50? So the answer is 40. In the second one, we need to find is 670 nearer to 600 or is it nearer to 700? So the answer is 700. If you've got the same answer, it's really wonderful. We are good to start more with estimations. Let's learn how to estimate to the nearest thousands by rounding off. Let's look at this with a small example. Here we need to round the number 63,320 to the nearest thousand. Let's see which two multiples of thousands comes just before and after this number. So 63,000 comes before this number and 64,000 comes after this number, which are the multiples of 1,000. Now we need to look whether this number is going to lie between 63,000 or 63,500 or is it between 63,500 and 64,000. So it will lie somewhere between these two numbers. So if you are rounding this number, it will be rounded off to 63,000 because it's less than 63,500. That is exactly the halfway. Now let's look one more method how to think about rounding off. So when rounding to the nearest thousand, look at the digit which is sitting at the hundreds place. Like in this number, three is sitting at the hundreds place. Now let's look at the rules. If that particular digit which is sitting at the hundreds place is zero, one, two, three or four, we need to round down. But if that digit is 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, we need to round up. This is what we need to be careful about. And as you can see that in this number it was 3 sitting at the hundreds place. So we did round down of the number and the answer was 63,000. Now let's look how to estimate sum or difference. Let's look at this with the example. If you are required to estimate the answer of 5290 plus 17986, so it's somewhat tricky to do it all in our head. Let's look at the method of estimation so that we can do all this all in our head. Let's round this number 17986. So it will be rounded off to 18000 because at the hundreds place we see that 9 is sitting which is bigger than 5. In this number, 2 is sitting at the hundreds place. So we'll round it down. So the answer will be 5000. Now 18,000 add 5000 is 23,000. This is our answer. Now let's look how to find the difference. We need to find the difference between 7,673 and we need to take away 1436 7673 rounds off to 8000 because here 6 is sitting at the hundreds place which is bigger than 5 and in this number 1436 at the hundreds place we have a 4 which is less than 5 so this number rounds off to 1000 because we need to round down now the sum of I'm sorry, not the sum. The difference between 8,000 and 1,000 is 7,000. This is how we estimate our answers if we are working with sum or difference. With this, we are having some practice questions here for you. You can pause the video here to try these practice questions. And when you're done with your practice questions, please check your answers with the answer slide provided at the end. Thank you for watching this video. For more, please visit JustTutors.com.